All right. How have you guys responded in practice this week after a tough road trip? You know what? Uh, just like we always do, just uh, you know, we, we do a day kind of a review of of the weekend and you know where we need to get better. And kids have they've worked hard. You know what? Uh, every game that we played this year, I don't I hate to use the word life and death, but they're you know you got to play harder than your opponent. You got to I mean, you got to fight out there. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you, guys. Go dogs, baby! Let's go, energy! Let's go! Let's go, 10 minutes of group, guys. Let's go, focus on what you're doing, all right? 7 3 0 3 let let's go! Coach Hoff is, he's very emotional. You know when he's at practice. He has more energy than me, honestly, I can, I can tell you that. It's like he wakes up and drinks like 10 cups of coffee. Attack, gap! Good! Way to pivot! That's it! Good, get it, get into it! Get in it, get in it! 22! Yeah. Michael Carter, way to freaking talk! That's what it's about! One of the hardest things Coach Hop was trying to tell me is getting everybody to buy into his plan because he's a new coach. We don't really know his game plan. We've done years of something else. He was saying a lot of good things, but like as a first time head coach, we had to kind of just take a leap of faith with him. Go at him! That's it. Oh, nice. Good, nice. Good, nice. The most important thing for us was to install our culture and fight for that. I know our system works, and now it goes back to how fast do they uh, believe in it. We were picked to finish 10th in the league. We kind of felt slighted. From what I've been hearing, everybody else thought we were going to be worse than, than last year. Man, like last. 10th. It's like, it was down there. I just felt like we weren't taken very seriously. I think those guys took it to heart, and uh, you know, we use it as part of our building blocks of our mindset in terms of believing and working harder than our opponent. I knew these kids had talent. I had watched tape. I had studied film. It just it was a matter of, you know, could we get them to play the way that we wanted them to play? And I felt like if we could do that, we could beat anybody. Washington 0 and 23 all time on the road versus AP top two teams, and that is exactly what the Kansas Jayhawks are. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So long. This is one of those games a young coach has that he gets his team to believe in what he's selling. It was that day where that belief system really changed. It was like, Coach, what you're telling us really works. If we stick to our game plan and do what we have to do, like, we can beat a lot of teams in this country. Green at the horn for the win! Oh, my! What a ball game! Coach always told us, take it one day at a time, one game at a time, and so that's what we did. And then after every game, it was like, oh, oh we're winning games. Move hands. Work, work, Jay. Good, good, good. Next purple, next purple. Good job. At the beginning of the year, we needed to, to, to have an identity and to really uh, give us something different than what anybody else does. I mean, how do you separate yourself? How do you become different? So we decided, uh, you know, early on that we were going to really invest in the zone and work on it. This zone is something out of this world. He had us working so much on it, like it was, it was sick. <laughs> the amount of time we spent on this zone. As the year went on and we started to see success doing it, we started to see guys buying in, buying in, buying in more. Now everybody's bought into the system because, I mean, it works. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good, back. It was earlier in the year, we were in the, in the film room, the coaching staff, it, they're like, Coach, I think we need to put Matisse on top of the zone. We made the change, and it's been incredible. Moved away to steal Matisse Thibel. This is what Matisse Thibel does. Wow, another steal. He still passes that nobody should get to. He's like a cornerback. He's like, if he's guarding you, you're on an island. Holder. As it poked away and taken away by Thibel. Coach Hop has put me in a great position in the zone just to spotlight what I'm good at. Wow! Swatted by Matisse Thibel. 
top 10 in career in steals and blocks, and he's a guard. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculously crazy. Let's see Stiebel, man. He's the Pac-12 defensive player of the year. I'm just going to give it to him right now, guy. Okay, here we go. Purple's going there. You guys are going here. As many opportunities as you get. Let's go. Who's got it? Who's got it? Come on, come on, Noah. Gotta get reps. Purple. How many did you guys make? No, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. Everybody in. Let's go. Come on. Guys, it's like what we talked about before. It's all our mindset, bottom line. All right? When you plan for something bigger than yourself and you're playing together, we're as good as anybody and beat anybody. So get your mind right. We'll see you at 9.30 tonight. Great practice. All right? Yep. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. One of the great home court advantages is here in Seattle, Washington. Utah, Washington, both of these teams with so much to play for, these two teams are looking to make a statement. This game's about our energy and our defense. Let's go, everybody be fair, let's go. Together, let's go. So let's play some Pac-12 basketball. Good sharing of the basketball. Way to move the ball. All about ball movement, ball movement. He's got to go to work defensively now, and he is torched. Noah Dickerson went strong and physical. That one slips right through the wickets. Chris all the way up and under. Well, I'll tell you what, the King Steibel does so much. Deflects it, saves it. David Chris converts on the other end. Washington, they've got an eight-point lead. Van Dyke, and what a key three for Parker Van Dyke. Utah trying to climb right back in this one in the second half. Van Dyke will get a shot again. Bang as he drops that one in. That's his second triple. The first lead since 315 in the first half. On offense, we got to start attacking him like we did down there. All right? Let's go, guys. Oh, my goodness! Nice Carter! Wow! 20 in time for you duck to get back in the game and they have to clean it up on both ends. Well, there they go again and Colette closes. Rawson to Colette. We've said that a lot tonight. Just an excellent, excellent second half by Larry Kostoviak's team. 70 to 58 the final. Good game. Good game. Great player. Hey, great job. Good game. Good game. These guys uh, you know, they've, they've done a hell of a job, and this league is tough. We just, you know, you just got to fight through these times. It's uh, the dog days, uh, and uh, hopefully we can bounce back. You know, we got one more, you know, three more at home, two on the road, and we get a chance to play in the, uh, the Pac-12 tournament. A lot of basketball left, a lot of basketball left. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. You're welcome.